or if we were to be a mate or a paladin or a uh, warrior, we could get this this shield or a shaman. There is Mevin Corgle that we need to kill. So my idea is to uh, frostbolt the more Melvin, Mevin Corgle and then use fro uh, fireball after that because his movement is slowed down. That gives Chris and I enough time to put dots on him, to use shadow bolt, I can use fireball and he'll, he'll die by the time he gets to us is the idea. And there's also a thing called crowd, it's called crowd control when it comes to frostbolt you get Frost uh, Nova, you get a thing called Polymorph where you can actually turn a humanoid into a creature of some sort. It tends to be a sheep and that way you don't have to worry about that creature, that person attacking you. Vital Intelligence. Take the north road of death now and we have to go and take Talk to uh, Executor uh, Zygon is what our goal is now. So now we got a new weapon. And like what I was talking about at the beginning of the uh, first video before Chris came in along, that eventually this gear will start to have actual uh, stats on it that will help us long term. So that's going to be pretty helpful. <laughs> I was taking I thought we were a lot longer in the video, but I guess not. Cool. We're gonna look at the come on. I'm gonna look at something real quick. Okay, yeah, we're good. Cool. I just wanna make sure that I was uh having my webcam not I was sure making sure my webcam wasn't blocking any of the uh interface, so but we're good. Oh, let me reorganize myself so that way I'm like right in the middle instead. Speak quickly. A rogue's deal. So we now have to go to Brill with this quest. And you get either food or water, as are your choices. The funniest part about this, Chris, is that I was not expecting myself to actually turn this into like a tutorial one thing. I was actually like just gonna be like, "Yeah, oh, this is our classes. Let's let's fucking play and shit." But instead, I'm like, "Eh, let's let's actually try to like show off how to play this." Because some people are maybe new to this and they never played uh, classics, so. Feels of grief. We get one silver and 75 copper. You get these dark hounds that will start. Uh, there's some of them that their range of aggression or aggro is pretty far from where you are and it's kind of kind of ridiculous how far they can get so with the fields of grief we are going over here to get pumpkins is what our idea is with why we're going over this way we need to get 10 pumpkins over in that general facility of the field that will uh, we need the pumpkins to get that silver, so. Hmm. 
some lag going on in uh, OBS. That's kind of weird. Like on my on my actual game, I'm actually having it's not lagging at all. Just on my OBS, the uh, actual like video recording, it's lagging. It's weird. Like my my webcam is not having any issues, but my gameplay is actually lagging on it. It's kind of yeah, I saw that. There is our, there are the pumpkins. They're out there in the field. We just gotta kill every, kill everyone that's in our way, so that we can get. We need to each get ten pumpkins. We don't need to kill necessarily everything. Just no. And that's where uh, there's certain things when it comes to uh, using certain weapons that it's better for you to use than others. Because again, with me, with a staff, the damage is going to be greater overall, but it's not going to, it's its movement or it's it's a lot slower than a sword or a dagger dagger's gonna be one of your, it's actually your fastest weapon that you could use and so it's best for you to maybe go with a sword slash a sword with an offhand and so that's what I, what I want to, I would like to do is learn how to use swords and then get an offhand so that way I can do more damage and you can get possibly more statistics than a staff so Now I gotta go and kill this Trisfall farmer. So my stats are at 20 and I am at a 25, but once I hit 25 with my, 25 out of 25 with my stabs, jeez, these guys will not die. <sighs> once you hit 25 with your stat, once I hit 25 with my stats, I'll do that 6 to 9 damage instead of 3 to 3 damage instead, so. How many pumpkins do you have, Chris? I am about to get my last one. Very nice, sir. I'm at four. Four? How are you at four? You had more pumpkins on your side. I have no clue. There's five. And eventually, like with Chris, he was able to get a cl uh, class quest where he was able to get his imp. Eventually, I will get my own. Every every class actually gets their own quest at level uh, 10. And it gives you uh, your uh, a new a build, new uh, skill. So it's, it's pretty... brings a... Also, don't you get a weapon from that too? I can't remember. Uh, I know you get a uh, another qu uh, class quest at level twenty at Shadow for Shadow Fang Keep, where you get your own weapon then too. So, okay, right here is actually 
perfect for us. This, these three will give us our quest completed. And we are complete. Now we can go straight to Brill and have... Well, not straight to Bill, because as you'll uh, see... What was that? There's a task on the way. Yep. Yeah, there's a... One or... Actually, I think there's even two tasks that are on the way to uh, Brill that we can complete. I think there's one that you have to kill uh, those dark hounds, and I think there's one that you get the glooms. So uh, yeah, that could be it. there's that uh, 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 goopy. Oh, I can't wait how you call call those things. You'll see here and here shortly of what those uh, creatures look like. Yeah, there's a quest I think you get. To kill the dark hounds right there that you guys can see. And then there's another quest that on the ground there's like little herb things called glooms that you can. You have to get, I think, three of them, I believe. But we're gonna head to towards Bro at least, and I think we get some more quests on the way there. Uh, quests slash tasks. At least one. Yep. I know we got three that are named Bro, so we go there. Yes, sir. Well, we should be able to hit level six and we get new abilities. Oh yeah, your conjure water should be up to four now. That'd be, yes, it is. Good call. Where are you, Gordo? Are you at the bridge? I would not be surprised if he was at the bridge. Well, for an undead, it sure does a lot of walking. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also, I think, uh, over here in this building, isn't there a quest in here? No, there, no, there's an item you can get for tailoring in here, if I remember correctly. German tailor. Hello. Perfect. I'm actually go. I'm gonna go personally tailoring and enchanting. And then this lady gives you the, uh, which I can't afford it right now. Gosh darn it. Of course. Actually, I could do it now. Let's we'll go ahead and purchase it. But yeah, the, I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, Tailoring, I'm going to put it over here on my action bars, and this is what you can learn to make for... Uh, where are you going off to, Chris? Oh, you're trying to find that uh, dude, Gordo? Okay. Uh, went ahead and purchased a blue linen vest, which is actually going to be good for both of us. It is 23 armor and 2 spirit, level 7, requires level 55... Uh, 55 tailoring and once we hit 55 with our tailoring we will be able to learn how to make that item and so we need to get linen cloth and then make bolts of linen and we need to purchase coarse thread to make these pants and that's going to help us via my pants are only going to have four cloth or four armor this is 12 armor and I can make it myself and I can give Chris a pair of pants because his pants are probably not as good as that 12 armor. And so that's why I would recommend, that's why I'm doing the tailoring just to show off that this is something that's going to beneficial you as you're playing with either a cloth wear, a cloth wear of some sort via priest, warlock, or mage. So, And then that's why I'm also going to go enchanting so I can actually give Chris and I better enchants on our gear so we can have more mana, more stamina, or more health, better chance to hit with our spells, so on and so forth. You'll see it as time goes on, so. And this is weird that we have yet to see Gordo. Okay. Uh, still don't know where Gordo is at. 
Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I'm thinking. Is wonder where he could be at. I thought he only was able to walk walk down that road. Uh, down. There's supposed to be a bridge around here too. Oh, okay. That I know about that he usually hangs around. But uh, there's a rattle cage. Yeah, that's gonna be slightly an issue. That's another thing that we have not talked about is the leveling and the creatures. Again, this being level 8, we are level 5. That creature is 3 levels higher. It, our chances of actually hitting that creature is significantly lower. It's gonna dodge, it's gonna parry, it's going to. We're gonna miss more often with those kind of creatures. What's that? No, not yet. not yet. That that those creatures are going to be a lot higher level, and so we're going to miss. And they have a better chance of not only hitting us; they're going to have like a hundred percent chance to hit us, but they're going to have a significantly higher chance of critting and hitting us and killing us with like one or two shots. So we want to be sure that we stay closer to our level kind of area. So. Oh, there used to be a chest, or there is a chest, Sometimes usually? You'll find random chests that spawn uh, in the bottom of lakes. Oh, okay. This depends on which one you go to, I guess. But, uh, hmm. Like, if you know where, you're, where to look at, you know where the random chests will spawn, there's the bridge I was talking about. Oh, okay. And there's our linen cloth that we could use to make one bolt of linen, in which we will level up our tailoring to level two. And like I said, once we hit 55, we will be able to make, learn how to make this blue linen vest, which will benefit Chris and I, because we both are mana users, and that would help us get our health and mana regeneration that much higher. What now? What now? Where the hell is he at? Usually he doesn't go this far ahead, does he? Uh, not that I'm aware of. He might go down the grill, but I don't see why he would. Not usually. Actually, he may have. Now, here's a quest. Uh, yeah, it's called a future test. <laughs> Future task quest. Like what Chris was saying, it's the future a future task quest, and you have to go back that way, back to where we were, past that bridge where we kill those uh, undeads, ghouls, and try to get uh, items that way. Six for me. And I just hit level six myself. That is excellent news. So now we have to go back to the Fields of Grief and go and kill a certain amount of people, I believe. No, they want me to take the pumpkin to the captured Zealot, who is being held at the cellar of the Gallows Inn Tavern. Yeah, he's here in Brill. Oh, okay. And secure Zygond. Secure Zy Zygond. 75 silver. Okay, so the classics got these things where they have posters posted up that are actual quests. They just don't have job for their quests. Valid point. And when it comes to these wanted posters, not only do, do you have to go click on them, like what Chris was saying, it doesn't show 
the yellow exclamation point that there's a quest, but sometimes when it comes to these quests, the wanted, not just sometimes, but most of the time, they will be uh, wanting you to join a group, join with other people to complete them because they're going to be elite, which that's a whole other subject that we have yet to start to discuss. Um, uh, when it comes to elite, grave robbers. Uh, when it comes to elite uh, mobs, creatures, humanoids, they tend to have a lot more health. They're going to have a lot more attack. It's going to be more difficult to kill them. They're going to have better defense. So you want to be with other people. That's why when it comes to one posters, they call it elite quests because it's, there's, you're going to have to kill elite people. So one posters tend to be mostly elite uh, kind of thing. So we'll go ahead and go inside here. Yes, sir. I haven't got all day. Okay, I hear you, young lady. I don't got all day. We'll go ahead and get the refre refreshing spring water. We're going to make this place my inn. That's what I was talking about at the very beginning of the previous video. Is that or the first video before Chris came into the video? Is that that he said in the cellar? Oh, right over here. Captured the Z lock. Yeah, he's downstairs. Yep, and then he's. Falls over dead, or does he become a frog? Oh, becomes a ghoul. Okay. Uh, like I was saying in the previous video, at the very beginning, was that the hearthstone, whenever we were uh, down in that uh, shadow grave, that if we were to use that, we would go back to that. All we would, we'd go all the way back here to the death knell into the shadow grave. But now that we have made the hearthstone, the in, made this in our hearthstone spot, we will use that hearthstone and it will send us right back to this general spot instead, so. And so now we have actually got that one bolt of linen. We can go and make pants, we can make this cloak, we can make a shirt, which is not going to benefit it benefit us that much right now because of uh it's not going to statistically shirts will never actually statistically help you in the long long run because they're just shirts they're not going to help you with that so we can make these pants for ourselves to get from four armor to 12 armor and we'll increase our tailoring from level two to level three and now we can go ahead and sell these pants back wonder if there's a tailoring person in this town or not. It's probably not. Speak quickly. Profession trainer. Uh, enchanting. For my warlock trainer. Oh, that's also another thing. Okay, so... Uh, it's upstairs. Okay, so there is a person actually up there. I wonder... Yep, I see that now. There's the mage trainer and the enchanting tra uh, trainer upstairs, so that is perfect for bo both circumstances. I can learn how to enchant our gear, and I can... I wonder what the hell that's about. I hope the... Hmm... What I might have to do is Mage Trainer. Very nice. I got Conjurer Food, rank 1. Rogue Trainer. Journeyman Enchanter. Perfect. Cost, cost 10 copper. And then once we hit level 10 with our... Uh, once we hit level 10 with our enchanting, we will be able to learn how to make magic wand, lesser magic wand. And we can learn to enchant our gear in a general specific thing. Uh, let's go ahead and put enchanting and disenchanting on here. And we will have to get a ruined copper rod. Once 
Was that? Yes. I am There's a regular copper rod. So we have the following uh, quests. We have a Puget task. We have at war with the Scarlet Crusade, grave robbers, and most, or we have a wanted poster for Maggot Eye. Maggot Eye's paw. Uh, actually, may have to call it for now. Okay. That works out. Works out. Oh yes, sir. I would. I I hear you on that. We yeah. There's certain things that we all have to do when it comes to owning a house. Well, that being said, guys, we're. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just it's stuff that if I don't take care of now, I'm gonna hear about it later. Oh, that's totally understandable. Uh, with that being said, guys, we're gonna end this uh, video right here. This actually works out perfectly. It's about the 30 minute mark, like what we did with the previous video. Um, in the next video, which will probably be later on, I don't know when exactly yet, but. Down the road, we will get back to recording. And uh, next video, we will continue to level up. And eventually, we will learn how to uh, we'll get our talent tree and go into different specs. And we'll find out more about where we go with this journey of World of Warcraft. Thank you very much for all tuning in. And we'll see you guys later.